Hello everyone, UK Goosebumps here, back with another video. And today on Guide to Goosebumps episode 2, we are going to be talking about the original series, or OG62, and the other Goosebumps series. So let's get into it. Okay, so... Stein has made many Goosebumps series over the years that he's been writing, but probably the most well-known ones, uh, especially for 90s kids and for most people in the community, is probably going to be the original series. But if you're newer, you probably know, won't know what that is. But basically what it is, is it's a collection of 62 books. Then they don't go in order. You don't have to read them in order. They're all separate stories. And he made them from 1992 to, I believe, 1998. Um, but some of the UK books uh, were released a year or two after some of the US books, so the times could have changed. Um, anyway, the first book that he published in the Goosebumps series, the first ever Goosebumps book, was uh, number one, Welcome to, Dead, Welcome to Dead House, which was published in 1992. Now, this book started off Goosebumps as a whole and didn't make too much of an impact. Um, Goosebumps wasn't a big thing to start off with. It took a few, I think it took like a good few, maybe like 20 books for it to people start picking it up. But I made a short about this and they made books with no numbers on the spine. More commonly found in the UK, but some US books would have them. And these are basically test books and they released these to see if members of the public would actually like buy Goosebumps. So that's really cool. Um, and that's part of like a, a really cool thing to have because it's a history of Goosebumps. You can see that they how they did stuff and, and there's backstories to this kind of thing. There's loads of stuff like that with Goosebumps. That's why I think lots of people find it interesting. There's so much stuff to find. Anyway, uh, so we started with Welcome Dead House and it was slow to begin with, but soon after a few changes, um, some new the new books coming out, after about book 20, they started selling rapidly. So we kept on making them all the way up to the 62. Uh, the last book was Monster World 4. Uh, which was number 62 in the original series. And that ended the original series. So start, and then there was so much merchandise made from this uh, original series. But we'll talk about that another time. That can be a separate video. So that's the first Stein uh, Goosebumps series that was made. The first Goosebumps um, series Stein made, I should say. And then we go on to Series 2000. Now, Series 2000 was, I believe, a year or two after... Uh, the original series. Obviously, UK times could have changed it because uh, the UK books were released a year or two after American books. But it was around the 1997 to 1998 mark, I think, the first book was released all the way to around 2008, I believe. I think so, anyway. It might have been... I think that's when Horrorland started. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Anyway, uh, basically, Series 2000, what happened was... Um, Stein wanted to create a new series that was a bit darker than the original series after seeing the success of the first Goosebumps series. So he made this collection of 25 books called Series 2000. And it was called Series 2000 because it marked the millennium, um, the year 2000. Even though the first book was made only in 98. Um, so yeah, and Series 2000 is known as one of the darker, one of the darker GB Goosebumps series. And it's well known for that, and it's also well known for just having, it's like really dark compared to the other stuff. They, people die in it, you know, there's especially um, Slappy's Nightmare, that's, an, that's one of the darkest Goosebumps books out there. But yeah, it's very, that's what it's known for. I wouldn't say there's anything too much about it. It's definitely a shorter series compared to the OG series, so you went from 62 to 25 straight away. Very short. It introduces a lot of new characters, not of new monsters, but also visits, revisits some new characters. And this was kind of the start of Slappy's, like, Slappy's kind of, the forefront of Slappy, the forefront of Goosebumps being Slappy. He got his, what was it, his fourth book at this point, and Goosebumps had only been going for about, what, I think it would have been 10 years. So he he was already getting popular. And... Then we went from Series 2000, and then we have Give Yourself Goosebumps. 
Now, give yourself goosebumps and Sushi Thousand. We're kind of going at the same time. So there's not really an order to go in them. It, they were none of them came first, none of them really came second. They were kind of going at the same time. Again, UK times, US times. You know what I mean. Um, and give yourself is a choose your own adventure style series, and they have books with multiple different endings. I think there's over twenty different endings in every book, and you choose your thing um, at the end of the page, and it tells you what page to go to depending on what you want to do. Now these are th this is a very unique series for Goosebumps. They they didn't do anything like it afterwards. It hadn't. They never done anything before. This was a one of a kind thing, and I think that not many people bought some of them as well. Because it was very different, and this is kind of when Goosebumps was dying out after about the eight to ten year mark. So it was kind of dying out at this point. Not many people were buying, and that why that's probably why. Give Yourself Goosebumps is one of the rarer Goosebumps series out there. And I think in the UK it only had 36 books, but in the US I believe it had around 50. Um, and then that's where we get into our third series it would have been. Technically part of the Give Yourself Goosebumps series, but I'm counting it as a different one. So the, the US had eight special editions, um, and the UK, and I don't think any other country got them. Uh, but Australia did, uh, but the UK did not, and these eight special editions are known as really, they're really rare. Um, and they have special edition on the front, so I'd class it as a technically a new series. And these are really rare, probably because they probably made limited printings, they were never reprinted, and not many people were probably buying at that point anyway. So that's what makes them rare. Some specific rare ones from this series were, that are really well known as some of the rarest Goosebumps books are Trick or Trapped, I'll put an image there. And also uh, Revenge of the Body Squeezers. Those are two of the pretty rare ones from that series. So what happened after Give Yourself Goosebumps? Well, there was basically nothing. Um, I believe for a few years, there was literally nothing. And Stein just went quiet. I'm not sure if he wrote any books in between this gap of no Goosebumps. But kids started to like not enjoy it anymore. They, their sales were going down, so they stopped. And then around 2009, Stein made a new series, a very bold choice to make a new series because he needed something that still had the scariness and the funniness of Goosebumps but matched the new um, era that they were in with uh, 2000 kids. So he made Goosebumps Horrorland, which is probably one of the well-known series to kids who were born in 2000, such as me. I remember Goosebumps Hor Horrorland from when I was a kid. Um, and yeah, and it definitely worked because Goosebumps Horrorland is one of the, well, most loved series, I would say, by a lot of fans. They made a lot of books about it. There's so much lore behind it and there's so much facts behind it. It's very interesting. And Goosebumps Horrorland is a series that you have to read in order. The books go one after another. It follows a story of, uh, I think, 12, 10 children who each have a different story to tell. And then at the end of each book, there's a section where that says Enter Horrorland, which is where they all meet in Horrorland. And at the end of the, I believe in the ten, ninth or tenth book, they all meet. And then either nine, either nine to twelve or ten to twelve, they uh, all team up in Horrorland and try and do stuff. But Horrorland is basically this massive theme park, and there's loads of stuff behind it. They made a book called Horrorland Survival Guide, a uh, very very interesting book. I highly suggest you read it. And they also made an arc two, which is what we call it, uh, which is a second series of Horrorland, which you do have to also read in order. And that, that one's about um, a man called um, Chilla. But yeah, Horrorland, pretty, really good series. And yeah. And then after Horrorland, we, I'll just tell you, because there's so many series, I'll just tell you the basics of what happened after Horrorland. So we've had Most Wanted, we've had Call of Horrors, and we've had Slappy World. We've also had other separate books and separate series, like uh, Tales to Give You Goosebumps, the newest series, House of Shivers. And we've also had some standalone books like the Haunted Library series, Goosebumps comics, Goosebumps graphic novels. Um, yeah, there's so many hidden gems out there. But Slappy World is basically a series dedicated to Slappy. Every two books or so, there's a book about Slappy, and the two books in between aren't. Um, Most Wanted is a series based on... Some of them are based on Goosebumps books that have already happened, and it's like a second part. But they're not linked, it's just about the monster. 
and then some there are some new books in Most Wanted. Um, I think Most Wanted has the longest Goosebumps book as well. Um, maybe, I think they may be the second longest. I know Weirdo Halloween's really long, and I know Wanted the Haunted Mask are really long. They're about 220 pages or so each. Um, and then House of Show is the newest series, which I made a video about, about the new book coming out. We have um, Scariest Book Ever that's been published and is out in stores. Goblin Monday, which is coming pretty soon. Uh, and we'll have for next next year, far in the future, like way next year, in like September time, we have Night of the Living Mummy. Uh, so that sounds pretty good. Looking forward to that series. And yeah, that's basically the Goosebumps series, the main ones that we have. Um, and then House of Shivers as well is kind of a... Kind of, a, it's a Horrorland based series, but only the beginning bit. Other than that, they're all just standalone six books. Smallest, I think it's the smallest Goosebumps series, unless you count um, the UK Tales series, because UK Tales, to give you Goosebumps, only got two books. But yeah, um, that's the series we have in Goosebumps. And yeah, that's about it for you guys today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully I gave you as much information as possibly can. I want to keep them kind of simple because I want new people to watch this or people who want to know about Goosebumps and I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So I try to break it down into sections. So I tried, to, I, there's loads of other information but don't worry about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, have a great night.